you have just bought a Sony ZV-1 camera or you're just about to buy one, congratulations. But you and I both know that the spending doesn't stop there. Hello, I'm Neil and I'm not a tech guy or a camera reviewer. And these are my best budget accessories for the Sony ZV-1 camera. I've got time codes in the description below if you want to jump ahead at any points. There's also links to all of these products and if you choose to buy them there, Amazon will literally shower me in coin. Thanks so much if you buy from those links below. This is what my Sony ZV-1 camera looks like with the accessories. So let's jump right in with the first one. The first thing I got for my Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 camera is this. It's a bit of a cheap this it's a hand grip I got this grip for my GoPro Hero 5 and my Osmo Pocket I absolutely love this hand grip and I find it quite difficult on Amazon to judge from the pictures which hand grips are going to be best and which ones are going to be good to hold I don't like the ones that feel like slices of metal I prefer the feel of a proper grip <laughs> it still sounds wrong and with this one i don't feel like my camera is going to get snatched out of my hand anytime soon i'm not such a big fan of the extendable selfie sticks i just wanted a good hand grip but it's so difficult doing this without slipping into double entendre i just wanted to hold my camera in a way that feels like it's not going to get snatched from me while i'm filming on the streets and this feels pretty secure. So that's my object of desire number one, a really good hand grip. Accessory number two on my list, again, is a, is a bit of a cheat because I've made a whole other video about it. I'll link to it in the description or on screen now. It's a protective screen cover, a tempered glass protective screen cover for my Sony ZV-1 camera. I made an entire video about fitting this screen and whether or not I was able to avoid getting bubbles. The link is in the description to that that you can buy and also to the video so you can see whether that's something Something that you might want for your ZV-1 monitor screen. And accessory number three is also in that video. It's the Lowepro Tahoe CS20 camera bag or camera case. You can get this in blue or black. I went for Galaxy Blue. It fits so snugly. There's two for one there, two accessories in that one video. I highly recommend you take a look at that video after this one if this and protecting this is something that you might want for your ZV-1. Accessory number four for my Sony ZV-1 is also on a protective tip. It's the JJC lens adapter ring. I am not into photography at all, <laughs> which is kind of why I got the Sony ZV-1. I just need a camera that will start recording, but I've got a bit of a record. I have some form. This is my Osmo Pocket, my darling Osmo Pocket that I'm shooting on right now, so it's okay, but I sort of dropped it. It is quite a delicate piece of photographic equipment and it, I, it just fell out of my pocket on a, at a train station. So I do tend to focus my accessories on the uh, protection side of things. But what I do want is a protective ring. So if I were to drop this, at least there'd be something on the camera to take the brunt of the impact. That's why I'm fitting this JJC filter adapter ring. I just just wanted something to take the impact if I were ever to drop the poor ZV-1 or get it knocked somehow. I just wanted a little bit of protection for, for dust and uh, sand, not that I ever want to take it in those kind of situations. I really like the square cutout. I think that looks so much better on the ZV-1 than the adapter rings that are just round. There's, uh, there's just something about that. And also, I know this might be heresy to photographers out there, but I really would quite like to cover up these words up. I found them quite distracting as a vlogger. <laughs> I just want to see that. Well, here goes nothing. So take the backing paper off. Don't want to get it in shot. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Yeah, that looks straight to me. Let's extend the lens. Okay, so I've managed to put it on in a way that doesn't obscure the lens, you know, so that's job done. And then I'll probably give it a good press just to really make sure it sticks. So I'm hoping that might afford some protection, you know, if I am in a challenging environment. The lens cap obviously also gives it some protection. 
I'm hoping that would take the impact. Oh, by the way, in the description, I'll put links to all of these accessories for the Sony ZV-1. I'm quite pleased with that. How are you finding these? Leave a comment below. And if you've reached this far, why not give me a thumbs up just to let me know that someone's reached it this far into the video. But are these the kind of accessories that you would buy for your ZV-1? Let me know down below. It'd be good to hear from you. It'd be good to hear any other tips that you might have for your Sony ZV-1 camera. The next accessory is probably the most vital thing that you and I need for our Sony camera. And it is, of course, the SD card. I, I don't know why, I'm just a big fan of micro SD cards cards so I got this uh, 128 gigabyte micro SD card I made a whole video about whether or not it works with an adapter in a Sony ZV-1 spoiler alert it does but I just wanted that reassurance that, that the cards I already had work in this that SanDisk Ultra 128 gigabyte memory card works really well in this and this is a, a fun one it isn't one that I actually thought about until I actually got the Sony ZV-1 camera in in my hands and then nearly didn't get it in my hands. I just wanted something to, to catch it. I didn't think that I would need this. It's another thing for, for protection and security. It's a lanyard. I, I pretty much hate all straps on cameras, but the thoughts of being able to secure my camera to my arm is quite appealing. And I, I don't know why, it's just the mood I'm in. I think it's because it's summer. I've gone for the pink camo look just to brighten it up a bit. These are nice. They're from Rinker. You get two in a pack. It's only a few dollars. The link is in the, the description below. That's the color I've opted for. It also might help me find the camera because it's nice and bright. So that's the trick. I've just bitten into it with my teeth just to give it a bend there. There's a out of focus strap hole just there and there we go and then I'll pull the wrist strap through the loop like this there you go did it there's something about not having that security I, I think that <laughs> I think that might be my favorite investment but we'll see I'll try it out and I'll let you know in the description whether or not it's a hit or a miss are these the kind of things that you need for your ZV-1 say hi in the comments below if you've reached this far the thumbs up is always appreciated. Why not hit the subscribe button if that's the kind of thing you're into? It'd be great to have you along for the journey. What do you think? Which of these do you think you might be getting for your Sony ZV-1? Oh, and a, a mortgage. I'll get a second mortgage to pay for this as well. But apart from that, these are the products that have helped me on Amazon. Are there any of these of use to you? Let me know in the comments below your favorite ones or your tips for a Sony ZV-1. The thumbs up is always appreciated, but the subscribe click is a sign of awesomeness. So thank you. It helps take me closer to the 10,000 subscriber mark and good luck with your Sony ZV-1.